My name is Callum, also known as Wanderlutes. I've made a few videos about how to mint with Manifold, and today I'm going to talk about their new test network. When Ethereum merged to a proof-of-stake blockchain, they had to switch from Rinkeby to a test network called Gorly. So today I will show you how to mint your existing contract to the Gorly network, this will also apply in exactly the same way as minting a new contract. But if you want more detail on how to mint a new contract, I have a video that I will link into the description below. First, we can select the contract. And we can see here that it prompts me to deploy the contract on Gorly. This is because if I want to mint a token to test it onto the test network, I need to be able to mint the test token on my test contract on Gorly. So what I can do here is I can switch to the Gorly network through Manifold and approve the transaction through my wallet. If you would like, you can also switch to the test network directly in MetaMask itself. You can click on Networks and go down to Gorly. Manifold in their Manifold docs provides a few different options for how to get a faucet of test ETH. I tried the second one before and found that to be helpful, so let's try it again. So here you can see I don't need the link tokens, I'm just looking for the test Ethereum. And then once I verified my CAPTCHA, I can send a request. And now we can go check to see if it's in my test wallet, my MetaMask. You can see I now have 0.06 Gorly ETH. And to check how much it would cost to deploy the contract, I can go to the gas estimate. And it looks like it would cost 0 0.006 ETH, so that's more than enough for me to mint a contract and subsequently mint a few tokens off it as well. I go to deploy. Confirm the transaction. That only ended up taking about a minute or so, not too bad. Now that my contract has been deployed on the Gorly test network, that enables me to mint tokens onto the test network of Ethereum as well. The benefit of doing this is that I'm able to check to make sure that the NFT is everything that I want it to be. I can check for typos, I can check for paragraph organization, and just make sure that everything is exactly how I would like it. While it's always possible to modify a minted NFT afterwards with Manifold, each modification on mainnet costs gas, so it's better to make sure that you have everything you want in your NFT on the test network first, and then deploy it to mainnet when you're ready. Now let's mint a test token. This is one of my newest NFTs that is going to be released in my upcoming collection, and I want to mint to make sure that I can see how it looks on the test network so that it's everything that I hope it will be when I mint to mainnet. So I'm going to mint this to myself because this is not going to be an airdrop. And there we go. Now that the NFT is minted to the test network, I can preview how it's going to look on OpenSea or LooksRare. There we go. So it has the title correct. The artwork looks excellent, exactly like I was hoping. The description also looks perfect. So everything is good to go. I'm now ready to mint to mainnet. If you would like to see how to mint your token to mainnet to make sure that you're doing everything correctly, the process is the same from now on as it was with the Rinkeby test network, so you can watch my video on how to mint an NFT with Manifold. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. These videos take a lot of time for me to create, and I'm trying to help as many people as possible, so any support that you can provide is much appreciated. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. Thanks again, and have a great day.